On September 1st, I went to the store and bought just a few Marvel CMF packs. And when I finally got the full series, I thought, why not build every Marvel Disney Plus show in LEGO? So that's what I'm going to do, starting with WandaVision. So I started off with this base with the normal black border that I do. And then I added these white walls. And the idea of this is to build a house that is half black and white and half in color. That's why on the right side it has the brown door and the brown windows. And on the left side, this hole in the wall is supposed to be a hallway. But now it's time for me to add the flooring. And as you can see on the right side, it's in color. And then on the left side is just white and the right side is supposed to be the kitchen and the other side is supposed to be the living room then i had to make a bunch of furniture for the rooms and the kitchen was easy but the living room wasn't mainly because it's in black and white so there's only so much i can make but i put it all on the build and now it was time for the figures so i put wanda and vision on the build and the build was done so on the left on the black and white side it's pretty plain there's just a couch a piano and a table but now in the kitchen i have a table a fridge a countertop a sink and some more counters and then I have Vision and Wanda. Now this one is pretty lame compared to the other ones, but it's time to go on to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So for this one, I think I want to do that fight in the warehouse where Falcon and Bucky fight John Walker. So I started off with a 16 by 16 base, and then I planned out where everything was going to go, and then I tiled it off. Now in this show, this warehouse is pretty plain. It's mostly empty, and then there's just a bunch of crates and stuff everywhere. So I just grabbed a bunch of crates that I had, and then I put them on the base. Now it was time to grab the figures. And for John Walker, they haven't actually made a figure for him but his suit is supposed to be like captain america's but it's also kind of not so i looked at all of my captain america figures and i wanted to grab one that doesn't really look like a normal captain america suit so i grabbed this one that has super super dark red so that it looks more just like white and black and blue rather than red white and blue which is the closest thing to his suit because if you look at his suit he actually doesn't have any white stripes and then i was going to use the falcon from the first cmf series but in that fight in the show he doesn't even have that suit on yet so i just had to grab one of the older ones and use that but i did get to use the Bucky from the first CMF series. So I put all three figures on the build and it was complete. So I have Bucky flying into some barrels after John Walker hit him, and then I have Falcon flying about to grab John Walker. Now it was time to move on to Loki. For Loki, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. For example, I'm not even gonna start off with a normal base. I'm gonna make this one's base a little bit different. So I wanted to build the episode where they're in the void and Loki meets all the variants. But instead of using a normal base, I built up this. And I kinda want it to be like a chunk that's like ripped out of the ground instead of just being that normal black border. So then I built up a third layer. Then after that I added a bunch of rocks, twigs, and some dead bushes. Now for the figures I wanted to create some variants of my own and I don't own every single Loki so I only have a couple. So I grabbed Sylvie and Loki from the CMF series. Then I made my own Mobius. Then I got the crocodile and I made two Lokis using the 2012 Loki and the new Loki from this year. I just made one a really young Loki and a really old Loki. Now I put all the figures on the build and it is complete. They're all just standing there trying to figure out how they're going to get out of there. The next one would be what if, but there's two reasons why I'm not going to do that. First off, we already have two sets based on that show, and also it's animated, not live action. So I'm not going to count it, I'm just going to go straight to Hawkeye. For Hawkeye, I'm going to do that rooftop fight scene, where Hawkeye and Kate Bishop fight Echo and Yelena. So I started off with this small base, and then I built it up using some more gray plates. Then I built up the ledge, and I did not like it, I thought it looked really weird. So I fixed it up a little bit, and I think that this looks a lot better. And then on the bottom part, where the ledge sticks out, there are these things supporting it, which I think makes it look a little bit better. Now since this show takes place during Christmas, I added a bunch of snow on the ledge of the roof. Then I found out where everything was going to go and I tiled off the floor. After that, I put some more snow on the floor and it was time to add the figures. Now it was finally time to use some figures from the new CMF series. So I grabbed the new Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, and Echo. And then for Yelena, I just took her head off and I added it onto this like black suit. Because in the show, she's wearing this weird black suit. Now I finally put the figures on there and the build was complete. So I have Kate Bishop who has just punched Echo in the face. And then I have Hawkeye, who's about to shoot Yelena with an arrow. And after that, the build for Hawkeye was complete. Now we're about to move on to my favorite build, which is the build from Moon Knight. So for Moon Knight, I started off with this base, and then I found out where everything was gonna go, and I tiled it off. And for this build, I just want to have Moon Knight fighting a bunch of goons in an alleyway. So next, I designed two walls. And since this is an alleyway, the walls are not gonna be very detailed. Then I put the walls on the build, and on the inside of the brick building, I have some brown tiles to represent flooring. Then to make the alleyway look more cluttered, I got a bunch of junk to put in there. I added some newspapers on the floor, a pizza box and a slice of pizza, two trash cans with some trash bags next to them, and then two street lamps, which now that I think about it, why are there street lamps in an alleyway? I don't know, but it doesn't look bad. Now I grabbed all the figures, which is Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, and all the goons, and then I put them on the build. So I've got one guy who was pushed into the trash can, and he's all beat up and bloodied up. And then there's two guys in the back who are running to Moon Knight, and then in the front there's Moon Knight fighting off one guy. And I feel like this wouldn't really be a Moon Knight build if you didn't add Mr. Knight. So here's the build with Mr. Knight in it. 
it. I do think it looks better with Moon Knight because Moon Knight is just a really, really good figure. But that is the completed Moon Knight build. Now on to Miss Marvel. So for Miss Marvel, I started off with this base. Then I decided where everything was gonna go and I tiled it off. And then I built up the sidewalks and tiled those off. Now this one's very similar to Moon Knight except it doesn't have the walls. So next I added four street lamps. I added some newspapers and some food on the floor. And then I added a barrel with some fire in it and some trash. Since Miss Marvel is a kid, I'm just making this build about her stopping a robbery. But now it's time to grab the figures and put them on the build. And I'm just gonna use the original Miss Marvel because it's the only one that I have. I'm not gonna go out and buy the new one because that set is way too overpriced. So I have Miss Marvel grabbing the gun and moving it away. And then her other arm is pulling away the elderly man who was being robbed. And then there's just another guy on the sidewalk who is running away. So now the build for Miss Marvel is complete. And now I know someone's gonna say, why didn't you do I Am Groot? I Am Groot is technically a show. You should have done I Am Groot. There. That's the build for I Am Groot. Time to go on to She-Hulk. So I started off with this really small base and then I tiled it off. And for this show, I really wanted to do the fight between She-Hulk and Daredevil. The only problem with that is they fight at the top of a parking garage. So it makes it very boring. There's just a bunch of walls and then some plain flooring. There was barely even any cars. But next I put this small wall on the side and then I put a bunch more slope pieces on the floor. And this is to show for whenever She-Hulk slams her fist into the ground and breaks the floor. And now it's time to grab the figures. So I grabbed Daredevil and then I grabbed the new She-Hulk, but I had to take the face off of the old She-Hulk and put it on the new one because for some reason on the new one they did not add an angry face for her. So I put those figures on the build and now it's complete. Daredevil is just jumping over about to hit her and She-Hulk's also about to hit him. This one's probably the most boring one because like I said it was just at the top of a parking garage so there's not very much I could do. But now it's time for Secret Invasion. Now for this show I'm just gonna do the final battle. So I started off with the base and then I tiled it off and then I added a bunch of crates and then I don't even own a scroll figure. I actually never got that Captain Marvel set. So since in the fight scene their arms like change into different people I just made these two stupid figures. I didn't think the show was very good so I honestly just rushed this build and technically only their arms change but I don't want to tear up my figures by ripping off the arms so I just used the torsos and I mean it looks goofy but the fight was also kind of dumb so it's fine. So I put the figures on the build and here's how it looks completed and that is the build for Secret Invasion. And now after that aside from I Am Groot and What If I have built all eight Marvel Disney Plus shows in Lego.